The bald eagle, apex predator that came back from the brink of extinction, is an American symbol of freedom. The bald eagle makes quite the impression. As a rehabber, I can tell you that they have a ferocious reputation, and even a severely injured one will fight back with all it has. The bald eagle is a skilled fisherman and swoops down out of the sky, using its talons to catch fish near the surface of the water. Bald eagles have bumps on the bottom of their feet called spickles that allow them to grasp fish. They are an opportunistic feeder and will prey on crabs, turtles, and snakes. They will prey on other birds, especially waterfowl, and will hunt small mammals such as rabbits. Eagles, especially juveniles, will scavenge and eat carrion. Eagles are well known for chasing other animals away and stealing their dinner. This is why Ben Franklin referred to them as having bad manners. Bald eagles are apex predators and are at the top of their food chain. As adults, the only predator they have is humans. However, the eggs and chicks are preyed upon by raccoons, foxes, and wolverines. The bald eagle gets its name from the white feathers on its head, which don't appear until they are sexually mature at about five years old. Immature birds, birds have a flecked appearance with brown and white feathers. Juvenile eagles will often hang around the nesting area the first year as they develop hunting skills. Eagle eye is a term we have for someone with good eyesight. The eagle has fantastic eyesight, four times better than a human, and can spot prey two miles away. They see a wide spectrum of colors and can even see ultraviolet light. The wingspan of a female bald eagle averages 7.2 feet and the male averages 6.4 feet. That's slightly less than the golden eagle and less than the California condor, who has the largest wingspan at 9.5 feet. Bald eagles weigh between 10 and 20 pounds and can be 3 feet tall. Bald eagles build enormous nests, the largest of any North American bird. Nests can be 13 feet deep and 8 feet wide. Using sticks, they choose nesting spots in tall trees, often overlooking lakes or rivers. Bald eagles form long-lasting pair bonds, and both parents help to care for the chicks. Eagles typically lay two eggs, but may lay up to four. Incubation lasts 35 days. The babies are called nestlings for the first 10 weeks of life. One parent stays with the nestlings while the other parent hunts for food. Leaving them would expose them to cold and predators, so the parents are quite vigilant. A newly hatched chick can't regulate its body temperature and needs to be warmed by the parents. When the adults have young eaglets, they ball their talons into a fist to avoid accidentally harming their offspring. Fledglings are known as reluctant flyers and need to practice using their wings before having the confidence to leave the nest. The parent will keep bringing the young food after they leave the nest for another four to six weeks. That first year is critical and only 50% of young bald eagles make it to maturity. Eagles, like other birds of prey, are often in need of rescue and rehabilitation. This bald eagle was shot and is receiving veterinarian care at the University of Tennessee's Veterinarian Hospital. It is obviously illegal to shoot a bald eagle. It's a very happy day when a bald eagle can be released back in the wild. This female was treated for severe injuries and released two months later hopefully to be reunited with her mate. Eagles that have permanent injuries and can no longer hunt often become licensed educational animals. Bald eagles suffer from deforestation and habitat destruction. 
Here, the Department of Natural Resources has placed tall platforms to be used for birds of prey. Pesticides are very harmful to all birds. They poison food sources and in the case of DDT, made the eggshells brittle. While DDT was banned in the U.S. in 1972, there are still many harmful pesticides on the market. Eagle populations had plummeted due to DDT, and they were put on the endangered species list in 1967 and then delisted in 2007 after populations rebounded due to protections. The bald eagle has been the national bird of the United States since 1782. You can check out my video on wild turkeys and hear more about how Benjamin Franklin supported them, but he never argued against the bald eagle being our national bird. In 1782, the Continental Congress adopted the Great Seal of the United States. It depicts a bald eagle grasping 13 arrows and an olive branch with 13 leaves in its talons. This represents the 13 colonies. However, long before eagles symbolized American freedom, bald eagles were Native American symbols and spirit animals. This symbolic messenger was adorned on pottery and jewelry. Native Americans today are allowed to possess and use eagle feathers. Bald eagles are often confused with golden eagles. The golden eagle is widespread across the northern hemisphere and has brown and golden colored feathers. They often have white feathers on their wings and tails. It differs from the bald eagle in that it has a black beak and feathers on its legs. Winter can be a great time to spot bald eagles. Here is one on a frozen lake with trumpeter swans. Males and females look just alike. However, females are about 25% larger. When I think eagle, this is what I envision. That beautiful, majestic bird perched high above the trees, glaring down on, on us underlings. But I could be wrong. In truth, eagles go where there is a food source, which may include urban areas. This eagle is hunting in Vancouver, Canada. Eagles have been known to roost or build nests on radio towers and other man-made buildings. Bald eagles are such beautiful birds. If you love birds of prey as much as I do, you will want to check out my video on the great horned owl next. Thanks for watching this video. Booping the like button helps the good news to spread and the video to reach more people. Have a fabulous day and see you next time.